How are the uh, talented rookies, or lack of talent, would you have to make them? Uh, you know what? I only saw Chima uh, singing. Um, I was I was signing autographs in the crowd, so I, I wasn't even paying attention. Do you remember yours? I think you had a, did you do a backflip? Yeah, I, no, no, no. Frank, no, did, Frank, did, did. Frank did the backflip and almost hit Justin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ours was almost a disaster. So, But I, I remember it for sure. How, how much did you enjoy that? I mean, it was, it's was it been a while since you really, I know there was a, kind of a fan fest last year, but that was really one that kind of looked like years of old. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, the NBA getting back to normal, like with you guys back in the locker room, like it's uh it's, it's kind of weird now. Like it's it's different because when I first came to the league, that's how it that's how it was. Like I'm starting to feel old. Um, but yeah, it's it's cool that things are getting back to normal. When you look at the group, you only had three rookies. One of them wasn't there. But when you were a rookie, there was five of you guys. There was four the year before. How nice is it to have like more a more mature team walking into this season with guys who know their roles and know who they are? Uh, it's great because those are kind of things that you don't have to you know really think about or talk about. Um, you know, we don't have an older, an old team by any means, but um, we have guys who've been around um, who kind of know, you know, the ins and outs of the league, and they know what they're asked to do. And um, you know, everyone's bought in, and everyone's accepted that role. This is year six for you. Just what do you want for yourself and for your team this year? And how excited are you about this particular group? I think obviously it's always, you know, uh, getting over that hump, um, especially for me being the only guy that's been here that long. Um, you know, some guys have been in the playoffs. I have guys who won championships. We have coaches who won championships. Uh, but for me personally, who has been here, um, it's definitely to you know get over that hump and break that and break that curse. What's Mike, that excitement level like before you you know tip things off for real on Wednesday? Uh, I mean, I think everybody's excited, um, especially for me, just having you know entirely new team, entirely new coaching staff. Um, like I said, the, that burden doesn't you know you don't want that to weigh on you know basically anybody else because they, you know, haven't been here, haven't been through that. Um, so you just come with a fresh start and everybody decided to get this thing going. Mike talked about how he doesn't like to call a lot of plays. How are you you feeling kind of about that that read and react system you guys are getting into? Yeah, I mean, we've put some, we've put a few more things in, um, obviously with the season, you know, here. But for the most part in the preseason, you know, we had two things that we ran and you have a billion reads out of those two things. And um, I mean, I think we did a pretty good job at it, um, except one game where we had the turnovers. but. We had over 20 assists, I think, twice, and 23s twice. So um, I think we did a we did a good job with just the, with the only two plays that we were running. You think it makes it harder for you guys for teams to guard you? Yeah, I think it's it's hard to scout when you know teams have multiple options. I think it's hard to take away you know three, four, five different options. Uh, you know, everybody knows what the you know the first two options are, but if you have counters to those, it's it's hard to guard. Have you guys, guys. have you noticed any uh, big differences defensively for this group? Are you seeing some progress? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're I think right now we're we're defending, we're playing physical basketball. Um, obviously, with the philosophies that they've brought uh, with, with Mike and Jordy, um, I think we've done a good job defensively in this preseason. But like I said, now guys are going to be playing 30, 40 minutes and. Let's see what we can do with uh, when team's best players are out there for you know an entire game. You came out uh, a little too. bit of a slow start at the beginning of last year. How important is it for you yourself to come out the gates hot this year? I mean, I think we have to. That, that puts my team in the best chance to, to win games is um, when I'm playing at a high level, and I have to do that from from day one. You just got Portland the other night. Question. I imagine you're not expecting the same type of team, but uh, is that? To open against a team like that that's probably slated to kind of be hovering around you in the standings, is that kind of something where you need to get out on the right track? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I don't know if we played them three or four times this year, but, um, you know, winning those types of games where y'all are supposed to be, um, you know, neck and neck in the standings, you have to come out on top because now if y'all do end up tying, now you, you know, playing point differential, who won this game, who won that game, and uh, you just want to wanna win as many of those as you can. And, um you know, you, you want to come out in the beginning of the season and, and make a statement. So, Tony, last question. Yeah, and it is, uh, hey, Darren. What's, what's your uh, overall assessment of uh, the Nigerians? You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, they've all of them. The two that we brought in this year uh, have definitely been great with KZ and Chima. Um, just their physicality, the way they play defense, uh, them as cutters, and. You know, for and I told Chima today because he shot the ball well. I'm like, you see what happens when you just shoot the ball and don't think about it. Um, because those are things that they're going to have to knock down shots. Uh, it's gain the respect of, of opposing team defenses, and I think that opens up, you know, the world for everybody. When when you have multiple guys on the floor that can, you know, not only cut but make shots, uh, it makes the team that much better. And we already know what they can do defensively and rebounding the ball and you know their effort. But on the other end, you know, making shots just helps the team in a, in a whole another way.